Welcome to Kid Addiction, where we talk about cycling kits and gear. And today, I want to talk about the Bontrager Mirage Fit Shorts. Love them so much. So comfortable. Um, and I'm going to tell you why I love them so much and why I think that they are a decent buy for you if you ever come across them um, on their website or elsewhere, on Bontrager's website or elsewhere. Uh, the chamois. Hugely important with any pair of shorts that you get for cycling. The chamois is the most important thing. There are a few things, the general factors, the way I would evaluate bibs in general, or shorts in general. Uh, the chamois is number one, number two is the banding at the bottom of the leg, and number three is the banding around the stomach, and number four is the straps at the top. Those are the four big things that I'm looking for. Material also factors in, but generally once you're, you've taken all these other things into account, the material itself is less of an issue because you want a, you're probably gonna end up with a variety of materials based on the weather, right? Um, whether it's too hot or too cold or whatever have you. So these kind of hit the right balance. These are a good like midweight. These are not the thin like liner short and they're not summer ready where they're they kind of have a little perforation on the side where it's a really a little bit too cold for that in like early spring or fall. Um, and it is definitely spring now. So we're gonna try and kind of keep our butts a little covered. So the material here is great, fine. Chamois, number one. Number one thing is the chamois. Why do I love these? The chamois is great. It's a very firm, like, foam. Um, it's a multi-density foam, and I will link you to the website that has more information specifically about the chamois, and I'll probably add it into the video a little something about the close-up of the chamois itself. But for now, let me just suffice to say that it is a smooth chamois that looks nothing like this cheapo, crappy thing that you find on, like, Amazon or eBay or whatever avoid 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 if you're getting serious or you're to the point where you're looking up reviews this is not for you this is the inside of the bond trigger mirage so we finally get to take a look at the chamois um as we can see the edges are moved away the stitching is moved away from that tender area where your leg is going to be bending a lot um and it's dense it is dense it's called the bond trigger arca i think for the men it's the arcus uh don't quote me on that but whatever the case is you can also see that, like I mentioned before, the silicone is not on the inside, and this comes way up to kind of prevent uh, the chafing that might happen if your thighs um, rub together. And there was a seam that went across right there that probably would hurt. So there was some thought that went into this, clearly. And back to the chamois, very, very dense. Not as long as some others, but dense. So if you spend a lot of time in the drops, just make sure your fit is correct. All right, so... This thing is, let me see, eight, 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 eight and a quarter, eight in inches. That's, um, I'm not good at math. Millimeter is like 220 something, I guess. Um, that would mean that if you had like wider sit bones, you probably end up in this area, I guess, because you're like the widest. When I'm shopping for saddles, I'm thinking saddles and sit bones kind of like have like a measurement system. Um, and we're thinking 163, 168 is in the like wider range of your uh, sit bone width. So that would mean that you're ending up like what, like five something, six inches. So you're still kind of on the outside of the pad. If you're on that extreme, if you have like extremely wide sit bones, you're still like kind of on the outside of the pad. I'm a 155, four or five. Boom. So I'm more like in that range. And that's probably why I love these so much. Hence this, right? So Mirage, you want the sit bones, your sit bones to be wide enough to fit kind of in the middle of any chamois. So you want it to be like there. The further closer it gets to the edge, the more painful it's gonna be, right? So these hit, fit me correctly. I'm a, a 155 uh, saddle generally, and these bibs are a small. I'm, for future reference, I'm 5'11", I'm about 135. Uh, so, you know, just keep that in mind if you're trying to like size out, this is what they kind of look like. I think I'm like a, oof, I should measure my hips, but not right now. Point is, these are small and they worked out great. I don't want any excess fabric, so I don't want any rubbing. If you have extra fabric, it might lend itself to moving around and chafing, which is why I'm so glad that up here it is so firm. Like this material itself is stiffer than the materials here. So it keeps the shape at the top of the body, so I don't have to do this you know thing that you do when you're trying to make sure your bibs stay in place or if your bibs moved around the other factor to that is 
the banding that I was discussing before, right? So if this uh, does not have any silicone on it, any at all, then it needs to be kind of like perfectly designed um, to fit your leg. I'm very glad this does have silicone, at least on part of it. On the inside, that where you might have thigh rub, they've removed that seam, the thick seam, they've moved it up and inside. So it does, it does not create chafing when you're rubbing your, 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 your gams together, as it were. Right? So those are huge things to think about. Also, it's not, well, it's not the widest bottom band, it's not super thin. So if you have an issue with a uh, sausage leg, I don't really have enough sausage, unfortunately not have sausage leg. I better get on the gym, get to the gym. Um, but I don't have enough sausage to have sausage leg, but if you have sausage leg, you might want something a little wider, like, like what? Like the Enduras. So I have a pair of Enduras here, another really exceptional brand, but you can see right away that the leg band is significantly wider here uh, on the Enduras. Right? They have other issues. I'll do a review of them another day. We're not here to talk about Duendora. We're here to talk about Mondrager. But uh, if you are looking into something that's going to get the salt, get rid of the sausage leg and it's a consistent problem, just keep in mind that this might not be the perfect, perfect thing for you in that way. But they are good in every other way, and I highly recommend giving them a try in case they do erase the sausage leg issue because, again, they have that cut out there. They have carefully thought about the seaming here, right? So there's that. And if we're back up to the top, it's firm at the top to keep it from sagging, despite the back being very low. When the back is low like this, it allows you to do what the, the shorts were designed to do, for you to have easy nature breaks and be able to kind of like shimmy them down, you know, take them off, shimmy them back up, tighten these straps here so that you don't have the sag and drop. And even when these are loose, I usually keep them pretty low. Like I could probably tighten these up a little bit more, but I don't even want to stretch the straps out. Kind of like a new bra, you're not supposed to use the furthest away hooks. You're supposed to keep it kind of like low until they start stretching out more. So I keep these relatively low. Um, and if you have a longer torso and you're consistently having issues with straps that cut into your shoulders or halter bibs, and I'll show you what a halter bib looks like. Halter bibs that cut into your neck, like a leg. LA does not come to your neck because the banding is really soft at the top, but say like Lulu, yeah, I'm calling you out Lulu. Unless you've done some major design redesigns, your like the design at the top of their halter neck would slice into the back of your neck like a saw, like a garret, and just cut you up. This removes all of that because the straps cross in the back and you can even kind of like adjust them with this little strap right here, this little banding piece, you can see that. Um, you can kind of like customize your fit on these bibs. These, that's why I love them so much. The customiz customizability of these bibs makes them kind of like easy to wear and, and comfortable, really, really comfortable, besides the compression factor, which is, again, I think that's an, an issue with the material itself. So just keep that in mind. I don't know if you can see the back. The only thing that's a little annoying is you gotta kind of have to fuss with this thing sometimes if you want your back straps and kind of like make sure that they're flat. But on a brighter note, it does slide up and down. So like, this piece is not fixed. See what I mean? Versatility, that's what we ask for in a bib short. So please, everyone, take note of what Von Trigger is doing. I see you, Pearl Izumi. I see you trying to do some stuff. They changed their design a couple of times. I'm gonna get to them one day. Not today though. Today, it's time to ride. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, if you have any requests for reviews, you can also leave those in the comments or you can send me a message and uh, go ride your bike.